Good afternoon. This is Tina. How's your weekend? Today here is、uh, snowing now. It happened every year, you know. Because normally around February, it's gonna have a week which is very warm. So all the flowers they come out from the earth, you know. They come <coughs> then after like a half a month, then it's gonna snow. And this year it happened the same. Like the flower in my backyard and the front yard, they started coming. I I already see some actually blossomed, but now we have a kind of like a heavy snow、uh, today. It's pretty heavy, okay, and almost cover the road now. Anyway, let's get back to the topic.、Um, Uh, this video, I'm gonna give an introduction to the MongoDB. I might already cover the same stuff in other videos because I don't have time to go through which part I already covered, which part I've not covered. So I just、uh, take a look at my the video list to see the topic, you know, the title and、uh, predicate. Oh, this part I might not covered, so I will. I'm trying to do it again. So,、uh, let's go back. Okay, MongoDB introduction.、Um, for the NoSQL database, we have four kinds of NoSQL database. One is the document based, like MongoDB、uh, is document based. There are other choice like、uh, Apache has the CouchDB, and、uh, also Amazon I think have one called the SimpleDB, and、uh, there's another one called、uh, CouchBase, which is also document based、uh, database. Okay. But for this for the the this playlist, we only cover MongoDB. There are other kinds. I only heard about that, but never I don't have any experience. Like uh, uh, key value pair database and、uh, column based database and graph、uh, database. Okay, if you are interested, you can take a look at those. Mm, uh, my. My this year, okay, the end of this year, my plan is to learn this, to take a look at those databases. So far, I don't have time. Okay. So for、uh, MongoDB, it's an open source database which is、uh, written in C plus plus. Even though we can like using、uh, write JavaScript to navigate or to insert the latest data to the to this database. But MongoDB itself, it's written in C plus plus, like a CouchDB is written in El, uh, Elang, Elang. Okay, so, and the MongoDB is open source. Uh, since it's the, <coughs> it's categorized in the. Uh, no SQL database, so it's a non-relational database, right? And、uh, it's using the schema to represent. Oh no no no! Okay, what I what I want to say? Okay, it's a schemaless, which means inside the、uh, collection, it doesn't necessary to have the same schema for all the records. Let me give you one example. Okay, so schemaless. Suppose in our SQL database, if we have a product table, okay, and then you have in the product table, you're gonna have a column like ID,、uh, title, and、uh, uh, price, right? So which which is、uh, each each of the product records in this SQL. Database, it have kind of like have a certain schema. It must have ID, title, price, those fields, like a one title, node, price ten, one angular, type twenty, like this one. But for NoSQL, which is MongoDB, MongoDB, it's schemaless. 
Suppose we have a product here, we are no longer called table. Here we call table, but uh, here we call collection, okay? In this product collection, we store document. Document is a is uh, in MongoDB, we use something called a BSON. I will introduce later. But now you can think uh, BSON is extension on the JSON. Okay, so what's stored in MongoDB? Now you can think about it just a JSON. Okay, so JSON gonna have the key value pair, right? So here I have gonna have ID and there's one and the title like this. Title is node. Okay, and this is a one document like this one, and I have a price 10. Okay, and for the second document, you can have ID, which is a two, and I have, uh, what's the, mm -hmm. have uh, A equals one, B equals two. And you can also have ID is a three, and M is one. So for those documents we inserted in this product collection, they don't necessarily to have the same structure. This is called a schemaless. Okay, and uh, by the way, I have uh, I need to correct something here. In MongoDB, in MongoDB, the primary key, the primary key is uh, it have a special reserved the word called the uh, underscore ID. This is gonna be the primary key for every record or document inside the, our collection. So here has to be underscore ID. Here has to be underscore. Here I have to underscore ID. So if I, you, I insert a document like this one, like uh, uh, X is two, Y is one into this uh, MongoDB, product collection, then MongoDB will automatically generate this ID value for us. The type is object ID, we will talk about it later, okay? And the remaining is X2, Y is 1. And here we have some values, okay? So ID is a primary key. In, um, <clears throat> in this, uh, like my SQL, the SQL based, this key, you can use anything you want, like uh, to be, to generate, to be unique, a uh, primary key, you can set it by yourself. I'm not very certain if we can change the pri this primary key using another keyword. I didn't try it before, okay? And I don't know if they have the ability to do that. I have to take a look at the the API. But uh, for MySQL, you can choose using any uh, field you want, right? You can set which which column you want to be the primary key. So this is uh, the basic uh, in basic. Oh, oh, but, oh, I haven't finished. For, for this is for the schema list, but this is the default case, right? But uh, since uh, MongoDB 3.2, the version, and uh, you can force it to have a certain schema. Sometimes it's a uh, uh, very useful because I don't want this is a collection like this example is a product, right? I don't want product to store something which is not related to product. So it's better in production. We might need to using force different collection to have different schema. And you can do it using the schema validation since uh, MongoDB version 3.2. And uh, another thing by convention is uh, when we design, like uh, in SQL database, when we name the table name, we always using singular word like a product. Uh, in uh, MongoDB, mostly when I see uh, those suggestions are online, they're mostly using the plural like products or lowercase like this way. This is kind of like convention. You can choose any you can use your own way or follow your uh, company's uh, like uh, naming convention or policy or the code of policy, okay? So I think that's it for me for this MongoDB intro. And uh, for my next video, I'm gonna talk about the BSON 
because what's gonna be installed in our MongoDB, the type is a JSON type. It's not a single, just a JSON type. So I want to give a comparison about JSON and the JSON. Okay, uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.